Hello and welcome to Total Psych. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about a specific area known as intermittent explosive disorder. Now before I continue, I should tell you that intermittent explosive disorder sometimes is referred to as road rage. If not referred to as road rage, it can be referred to as sports rage. However, they ostensibly are the same, and so I'm going to focus my attention on intermittent explosive disorder. In this particular case, the individual cannot stop themselves from exploding. That is to say that they may be speaking or dealing with an individual on a quite calm basis and then suddenly explode. They cannot curb or stop their temper. They cannot discontinue what they're doing and they will usually have to be pulled aside or sit by themselves until they can literally calm down. Now, it's normal for all of us to get angry. This should not be confused with a disorder. That is, you getting angry at somebody for doing something or maybe frustrated at something because it won't work. This is not intermittent explosive disorder. It, for this disorder to occur in an individual, it must happen on a relatively regular basis. It is not predictable, but yet the individual has a history of having this happen. It plays out on the road with individuals becoming very angry at one's driving or another person's driving, and so they begin to attack that person, either through the use of their own vehicles, sometimes using a gun or a weapon or throwing an item out of the car. And in sports, we see it quite often on the playing field as well as in the stands as individuals lose their temper as a result of what's going on in the game. So when we talk about intermittent explosive disorder, we're including road rage. We are also including sports rage as part of the impulse control disorders.